Hi, art friends. Hello, art friends. We are out on a botanical adventure today. It smells funny out here. <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> but we're going to be looking for some plants. Not only are we just looking for plants, hopefully they're going to be the inspiration for today's art. Yes, and so I can quickly... Uh, 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 the video's not like sponsored or anything. No. We've never done sponsor, blah, blah, blah. But it's an app that you can use, apparently. It's free. It's called PlantNet. To take pictures of like leaves and wild plants and mm -hmm. then it'll tell you like what it is. And as someone who doesn't really know anything about plants apart from I like drawing them, I thought I might make a cute video saying what plants we're yeah. find. We're gonna draw something cute and hopefully educate ourselves as well. What have you found? <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh my god, what is it? It's a little fairy doll. Fairy Amelia lives in this house. That's well cute. Oh my gosh. I didn't realize that they put those in here because yeah. it's been a while since we've been here. It's a fairy walk that we actually want to go on at some point and we'll take you along with us. I wonder if there's any more in here. <laughs> what else have you found? I found I've left the tag in my dress. <laughs> I've also found a little bird house in here. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, so it turns out the woods has got like a million new things in, so we're well, gonna like I, check I'm it all out. To look at everything. Okay, let's come look at this over here. Because there's something, I don't know if you can see it, there's something in the tree, and there's something in the base of the tree. Guys, maybe you can help us. What is this? It might be like a bird feeder, I'm guessing. Now, can you see? What is But then it's got a hole in the bottom, which doesn't make much sense. I'm like, what is that? And also, down here, we have found Darcy's house. Oh! That's a really sweet. There's actually fairies in here, too. And a, and a gnome! <laughs> yes! Look at him, he's got two fairies, he's living the dream. Isn't that adorable? Well now when we find some plants, I kinda wanna do something fairy themed. Something gnome themed. Something gnome themed, that too if you want. Suddenly. Guys, we've just found a porcelain frog. And thanks to our froggy friend, these are the art supplies we're going to be using today. These are Castle Arts Botanical Coloured Pencils. These were sent to us by our friend Chrism. Thank you Chrism, that's very sweet of you. Oh, this one's well cute. It has like a little pathway that leads like up into the tree where it is. Are you feeling like the fairy theme? I think it's really cute. I don't want to alarm you, but I think I just walked through nettles. <laughs> yeah, I need to avoid those because I've got my legs. Oh no! It wouldn't be a nature thing without me touching something, Natalie. Oh, this one's well cute looking. It looks like it broke in half, which is a shame. Oh yeah, it looks like it's split. I love the door though, that's really cute yeah, it looking. It looked like it was like a little horseshoe and it says number 20 on the side of it. Let's identify some plants, fellow nature explorers. You press the little camera button, like so, and uh -huh. it says touch to identify. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. Bonk. Now I'm going to come up over here because I found a little planty friend. I'm going to take a picture of it. Oh, that's a really nice picture that you've mentioned. Oh, thank you. Choose related organ. I'm not even sure <laughs> what that is. Is it like a flower? I'm not sure what it is. Because yeah, oh. it looks like it's dead at the top or whatever. Well, I'll go with flower because it ain't a leaf. Okay. So I'm going to pick flower. There we go. It turns out that it is hogweed. And those pictures do look like the one that we've taken. So it does work. That's actually pretty amazing. That's a really cool name as well. Hogweed. Does it still the picture of the plant that you took? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it does, yeah. Because it'd be nice to keep those and then maybe put them in the video. I love me some hogweed. It might be hard because there's a lot of leaves. So it might struggle with this one, but we're having a good think about this one. It's not too sure. There we go. And it turns out that it's a snowberry. Snowberry is a really cute name. It's that adorable? How about we give this one a go, hun? This one looks kind of colourful. Yeah, I'm imagining it's some kind of like a thistle based on how prickly it looks, so don't touch it. <laughs> okay, all right, let's give it a go. Now, this one is obviously going to be a flower. Oh yeah, a welted thistle. You were right. Ah. Yeah, you were totally right. No way. Okay, so the Instagram girl <laughs> has came across this plant, which looks like, to me, like a little flower type thing. What do you guys reckon? Should we try and identify this one? If you were to name that yourself, what would you call it? We need to think of a name pretty quick because people are going to get suspicious. I'm on like my knees and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> and it's like in a really pretty place. People are going to get suspicious. Are you prepared? <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
Okay, now this says it is called a noble yarrow. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I heard your knees just snap. Are you alright? It's hard for me to get down. Oh my god! Ugh. Okay, I'm down now and I'm probably not going to get back up it's for a, a while. We have plenty of noble <laughs> yarrow to eat, so I think we'll be fine. Ooh. Oh, thank god the swatch is all ready. It comes with some little booklets. Oh, they do look good, you know. Um, we've got like a full set of colours. I wanted to see if they're all like nature-y coloured things. And they are named as well, which oh. is great. I was thinking heather purple, that's kind of like nature-y. But, um, oh, leaf green. Viridian, yeah, that's that a nature-y one. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm gonna... <gasps> terracotta! Oh, is there really? Yeah, but terracotta light. Does that mean there's a terracotta dark? Honey, in this economy, I'm accepting any terracotta at this point. <laughs> It's true, it's all right that we get terracottas and sets. The colours do look beautiful though, I love it. Oh, and rose pink, that's cute. Okay, well I've got my uh, little yellow sketchbook here. Yeah, I've got my little blue one too. Also sent to us from Chrism. Well, so thank you Chrism. Chrism. Today's video is sponsored by Chrism, Basically, it would seem. yeah. <laughs> Chrism is a Twitch streamer. Thank you, Chris. Um, I'm going to try just sketch with... Uh, are you just going to go straight in? That's yeah. pretty brave. Right. Yeah, just whack them down anywhere. You got your. That? That's really cute how you've got like your little inspiration there yeah. and your pencils. The last thing I drew in here was all with greens and that. Oh, the bird, bird. Yeah. yeah. So it might be nice. Try and like. Let's not get in close and have a little look. See. But since I've got this thing next to us, whatever it is, did we find out what it was called? So, uh, noble something. Yeah. Oh, wasn't it like noble yarrow? Yarrow, that's something? it. Yeah. A little noble yarrow. I like playing with the colours quite a bit. And again, there's Steph's little inspiration there. It's just a little baby plant. Look, it's a baby. Oh, that's looking adorable. Look at that. I feel like you're really in your element whenever it's something nature themed. I mean, look at her. She's dressed in like her uh, mushroom top today. You well, got me dress. this. Yeah, it's a little mushroom dress. She's very pretty. <laughs> Ooh. See, I can be biased because I bought her that dress. Like, <laughs> because <laughs> you bought this girlfriend. I was like, excuse me. <laughs> I bought this girl. <laughs> I'm my own woman. <laughs> oh, you are. You're an independent icon, dear. Let me get in close. I want to see this because this is looking. Look at that. I always feel that your uh, style translates really well into the shapes that like natural stuff have like flowers and plants and trees and stuff like that yeah, it translates I, so well into it i think i need to practice more with like man-made shapes you know like um like buildings and yeah stuff? like buildings look at that oh it's we beautiful do, we do have those artisa architecture markets so That's that'll be true. a chance to uh, experiment with that so keep a, a lookout for when we do that video i'm loving that so far it's beautiful then you're doing such a good job. Oh, thank you. Hello. I see you, you are having a little sketch over there. I am, yeah. Come. I want to use the the noble yarrow as well because I managed to get a really decent picture of it super zoomed in. And it looks like tiny little, like a bouquet of flowers within a flower. Isn't yeah, that crazy? Yeah, I was looking at those little details because it's the one that I've been I really Sketching like how here. yours has been coming out. It looks I'm really cute. Drawing it sort of from this angle, if you. Mhm. Mm oh, it looks adorable. So yeah, I wanted, I wanted to try and uh, give it a little go as well. Let's see what you are drawing. You have to excuse my poor little pointy finger. I burnt it recently. Oh, you were always burning your it's, little It's fingers. looking kind of sad today. So if you can, if you can excuse that. And we thought, like, hey, maybe if we brought you out outside where it's really beautiful. I was thinking about giving them uh, a flower crown, basically. Oh, are you still going with like the uh, fairy? Yes, I, I was really like, I really like the uh, stuff that we came across because I didn't know that people have put those there and I was like, oh, that's so sweet. And I thought it'd be a, a cute little memory to uh, try and draw something like that. And then I'll have to get like, uh, are they like pink? Are they pink? What kind of color are uh, they? They're not pink. I'd say they're like, white with like beigey kind of colors i've been using like cadmium yellow Ooh. and like some light browns Oof. we do love me some nice brown oh yeah oh yeah oh honey that's <laughs> lovely i do admit that the one thing with these pencils that i found is they're very very smooth and soft because i'd never heard of the brand before you know yeah i think this is the first time we've ever used castle arts pencils very uh very impressed so far 
Let me give her like some cadmium yellow eyes. I'll have to have a read up to find out if they're uh, wax or like oil pigmented, but we'll put it up on screen, whichever. Yeah, it when is we know. Absolutely. I'm getting the vibe that the wax, based on like how they feel. Oh, okay. But we will see. But I, I do like them. Because oil based ones, I find that you tend to have to push down like a bit harder to get the colour out. Whereas this, it's e easy, easy peasy. Like no pressure at all. It just like, the pigment just comes out. It looks wonderful. I love the colours so far. Yeah, we're gonna give her a little neck and on top of her head. There's so many like little flies hovering around next to us. It might be me. <laughs> no, they were already here. Like we could, ooh, if we wanted to get really fancy. We could come over here Ooh. and give them some wings or something like that. Ooh. Like a winged creation, honey. Oh, we love to hear it. <laughs> oh, look how happy he is. It's fun. I like, you know, it's been a while since we've come outside and had fun having a duel. So it's, it's, well, uh, for a video anyway. <laughs> oh, that's, well, yeah, that's true. Actually recording it. Yeah, so uh, it feels really nostalgic and, and fun. I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. Sort of going ham with the cadmium yellow, but it's a very nice pencil. <laughs> So what do you make of these pencils, my dear? Because I've been sat just for a couple of minutes watching her and you've sort of, she's just been sat in silence, just happily drawing away, so. <laughs> it's just exciting. I, I like having a draw of like things in nature, so. I went a kind of ham with the, uh, with the colors as well. I'm so impressed with the pigments. They're so true to what they've printed on the uh, barrel of the pencil. Which I feel like is kind of rare to get these days, and for the price point of what these are, that's it, it's incredible. Well, look at this nature queen, look at her go. It's a Stephanie Evans original. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what you didn't see on camera was her just freaking out at a fly flying near her face. She practically jumped into my arms. Did you get it on camera? I got it on my phone, yeah. <laughs> Maybe we can include <laughs> Oh my god, okay, here you go. <laughs> It's a hoverfly, don't worry, don't worry. So here's what we managed to create, guys, with some beautiful botanical pencils. I'm gonna plug our outdoor playlist, guys, so if you wanna see more outdoor adventures, check that out. And don't forget to like and subscribe so we can see you next time for another Doodle Date. Doodle Date! Bye-bye now! <laughs>